Hey, um, I recently had to create a shader and animate like an electricity flow path, um, so I thought it might be helpful to others for me to do a quick tutorial. Um, I've got a URP scene open, sample scene, I've just deleted the stuff in it, um, added a cylinder, kept the camera and the light. Um, then I've just created a basic material and applied it to this thing, cylinder thing. <laughs> Um, so if we just go in, um, create a new shader for the shader graph, so this lit shader graph here. And if we just call this, I don't know, flow shader top. Okay, so once we've got that open, there's a couple of things we need to tick, which is alpha clip and two-sided. If you don't tick two-sided, um, it's just going to look a bit weird if we look in the end of the cylinder because it will only be rendering on one side. So you probably don't want that. Uh, from here, if we create a position node um, and then subtract the object position from that, so we need a subtract. Yes. And object. position, plug that into there, yeah, and then with these, if we use a split node, we're able to gain access to the XYZ values, which was classed as RGB, by plugging this into a step node, let's just use R to begin with, shimmy these over, and then plug this one into the alpha, yeah, and then we can see in this little preview now that it's been dropped in half. And then if we save that and go back to our scene and just create a material from this. So create material. There we go, we can see them there. And then apply this to our cylinder. We now have a cut. <laughs> um, in the wrong direction, but obviously we can swap that back in our shader graph. So if we go back in and instead of R, we use G. It moves the direction of the cut and now it has cut our cylinder in half. Uh, that's all I needed um, to be able to then animate this flow. So if we go back into the shader and just create a property, a float, and just call this flow, we can then plug this into this one here so that we're able to access it in our material. which is now shown here. So if we just scrub this one, whee, then we're able to access that property. Um, that's all we need to be able to animate it. So to animate this uh, new flow property that we've got here, if we just click on the cylinder, go to window, animation, animation. It will create, this window will pop up and then we can create a new animation from here. So we just go create and then call this flow anim, for example. Then we have access to this object's uh, properties. So from here we can access our material reference, which is here. So at zero, if we set this to, hmm, Let's set this to minus one zero nine because then it's gone. And then at one second, we can whack this back up to full. And that's literally it.